I'll make it lighten. Okay, hi, how you doing everyone? Great to be here once again. Today is Friday the 19th of August and we are here for the recap of last night's fantastic webinar with Ash Mufara. So uh, just make sure the audio is okay. If you can hear me okay, a uh, couple of thumbs up would be great and then we will get cracking. Okay. Right then, let's get started then. So two words for everybody about last night's webinar, and that is buckle up, guys. That is my two-worder of last night. Absolutely amazing. It was just, for me, another piece of the puzzle that was put into place about this journey of on passive towards the launch uh, to uh, be a customer-based business. Lots and lots of bits of information in there from our CEO. And it was another piece of the puzzle uh, that he put in for us last night. If you are not excited about the information that we heard last night, then I really can't help you, I'm afraid. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, obviously, part of this recap, there is proprietary information that I cannot give to you. If you want to know more about it, if you log in to your back office, uh, the complete rundown by Peter Surer and Janet Butler and also uh, Daryl Cook. Uh, that is in the update section under O Leaders. And also Marty DeGarmo has put in the recording. So go over there, give it a listen. It's always best, by the way, guys, to listen to it a second time because you hear a lot more. Obviously, first time we're listening intently, but some of that doesn't actually sink in. So go ahead, go back over there and you will certainly uh, get a lot more information out of it. So without further ado, let's get on with the recap of Ash Farah on the uh, Founders Only webinar on Thursday, the 18th of August. So he came on, he actually said that this uh, webinar is going to be recorded. Uh, why? Because it's going to be shared with his lawyers and actually the US government as well. And it's likely to be viewed by the public at some point in the future. Uh, he looked very smart, suited and booted, came out very serious. Uh, he was uh, using a, a couple of disclaimers as well for the first time, which I hadn't seen before. This is showing how much further down the line we are now going where everything that he says, people are looking intently and listening to what he has to say. He said with a disclaimer, I'm here to share the facts of the corporate uh, corporate side and to be transparent. He has been transparent through the whole affair, by the way, guys. He also said that that we have for you is much better than you thought. I totally agree. Uh, it was, for me, a very good webinar. Lots and lots of information. He went on to say as well, there has been more dark nights uh, than brighter nights. We know firsthand within the leadership how much uh, he has to go through on a daily basis. And to be honest, guys, there is not that many uh, good days. We do know, though, that behind the scenes, there is a lot to achieve. And this, this is legal people as well. They are starting to see the vision of our passive and of Ashma Farah. So it really is good news uh, from that point of view. We have sustained many attacks at all levels. Most of the damage we suffer, suffered in the last couple of years was a result of founders. Unfortunately, we saw it last night uh, as well. As soon as uh, some information was given, it was there out on the Internet. This is founders not listening. This is founders not caring about the business of on passive and also some of the staff in the early days as well. And as a result, we will not tolerate any negative comments or shady agendas anymore. He said, to be a proper founder, you only have to be ethical, transparent and accurate. Now, you know that myself, Marty DeGarmo and, and uh, Chris Johnson, we always give you the best information. Uh, if you want to listen to other people, that's entirely your choice. But you will always get the right and correct information from us three. Uh, he went on to talk about Marty as well. He said, Marty is a leader that you can trust. I concur 
100% of that as well. He's honest, sometimes a little bit blunt, but that's not a bad thing. And of course, he is very, very ethical. He also went on to say, uh, no amount of money can uh, can intrigue us to change our direction or philosophy of what on passive is about. The character of what we are, etc., is so much more than just that monetary value. We must know how, who our true leaders are. I'm sure you guys out there right now know and understand and know who these true leaders are. It's many of us. It's not an individual process. This is a team effort at the end of the day. Why? Because we are all moving towards that one same goal. The success of the company that is in turn going to be beneficial to us as founders. He also went on to say, as a debt-free company, and thanks to God, he said, we are in a very powerful position and we could build five more on passives if we really wanted to because of having that debt-free status. He said, starting next week, so coming this Monday, we will have a new on passive website on Monday and also on Thursdays. So from next week onwards, every Monday and Thursday, okay, we will be having a brand new website. This is not just a website that has a few things changed, uh, might look the same a little bit, but it's got a few twiggles. These are brand new, built from scratch, completely different to the last one, websites. That will be done on your own domain names as well. Now, we are already getting those links in our back offices that we know about. Are those websites that are there going to be reused? Yes, they are, because it's all part and parcel of what we are moving towards uh, as we go forwards. He said, then we will go into the next stage, which is going to be a new website every single day. How cool is that? Being part of a company that is going to give us a brand new, standalone, fantastic, visually good website every single day. And what have we done for it? Absolutely nothing. Just become a founder. Absolutely amazing. Many things will be uh, been done behind the scenes. Uh, we are... Uh, the four to 500 products that are all being worked on or in the process, we will have made, these will have major impacts on humanity. These historical events will be there for hundreds of years to follow. Now, obviously, we don't know what they are. We haven't got a clue, to be honest. But one thing's for sure, if our CEO is saying that they are going to have an impact on humanity and the rest of the world, you better start believing that that is absolutely true. These have financial rewards to us and the company. What on passive has accomplished so far is absolutely amazing. No other company has done so much before they have launched. Ash, thank God, first and foremost. And secondly, the many folks who have suffered, sacrificed so much to put on passive where it is today. Uh, Ron Barhart, thank you for your support. Just the offices in Burj Khalifa and the Hyderabad office and others, not to mention yet, is staggering to know the potential outcomes that they have already produced. Now, we already know, looking back at that campaign that we had in um, Dubai, the impact that it has. Ash gave us a little bit of the update of how many how much more people from the EAU, uh, United Arab Emirates, sorry, uh, had come in because of those. And that is just such a small proportion of it. Why? Because every time it was put on a Burj Khalifa, there was massive crowds at the bottom, all taking pictures, all taking videos. Where do these people go afterwards? They go back to their own countries. They show other people. And this is how it all spreads out. He said there is the 10 products uh, at market value. He said there is going to be a couple of more sprints uh, until they are going to be above market value. And each sprint is going to take approximately two weeks. So we're probably looking into September now uh, for when this is all going to be ready. Uh, so we are so, so close uh, to it as well. Also, this is a really, really important part. Now, you need to listen very carefully to what I am saying here. He said, in the month of October, O-Connect will be above Zoom value. 
Okay, so by mid October, October O Connect will be above Zoom value. So it's going to be a recorded webinar uh, platform. He's added lots of bits to it. So recording of the webinar can then be played back with interactive voiceovers of what was there in its first point. Uh, whiteboard capabilities can be brought into it. And there's two new features as well with uh, change of languages, including different accents. It will be picked up and a teleprompter capability. Now, wouldn't I love to have a teleprompter? You know, I do this in front of a computer. I've got a few notes. I would love to have a teleprompter uh, capability to be able to read off to make it look a little bit more professional. But that is super great news about O-Connect. Is it going to be launched then? I don't know, but it's certainly going to have more value than Zoom is. Uh, so that is a massive deal. It means that people will know about O-Connect. There's also going to be other events coming in September, he said. Uh, for instance, in Hyderabad, we are having an appreciation event for staff, partners and family, maybe some of uh, the founders there as well. We don't know all the details. This is to commemorate the uh, anniversary of us in Hyderabad. That's coming up uh, there. So a massive thank you to everybody in Hyderabad who has tirelessly worked on uh, our behalf to realise uh, the dream of OnPassive by producing such good quality um, product services and web pages. Roy Clark, hello to the Tea Club. Uh, where else have we got? Also coming up, um, we're going to have more laser advertising on Burj Khalifa. This is going to continue in September. He also actually touched on the point that within the um, mall and other auditoriums, the aquarium, and I think the ski dome as well, all of that advertising, remember we saw them on the billboards, that massive great one in the uh, – Shopping mall, the largest uh, LED uh, display in the world. That has continued, guys. Nothing has changed with that. That's been going 24-7 in Dubai. It's been paid for. Uh, but the ones on the Burj Khalifa, these are going to resume back uh, coming up in September. So that's all really good news. Marketing uh, campaigns will continue also in India, uh, Dubai, the USA and also other locations as well. Remember, talking of locations, he spoke about within 90 days, we're going to be in four other uh, locations outside of Hyderabad. That's all coming up as well. So lots and lots of things really is happening behind the scenes. Next week, he said uh, his friend from Canada, who uh, I think his name was Roy or Rob, I think, uh, Roy, I believe, uh, He's this marketing guru that Ash has had an association with for a very long time. He's coming down and they're going to uh, have a brainstorming session uh, talking about uh, traffic generation, paid traffic, uh, paid packages. And they're going to discuss all of these things. And I'm sure very shortly after that, we will have a lot more updates and details about how that meeting well uh, went. He said, I mentioned before that within the 90 days, four new operational locations outside of India. It's been about two weeks since I said that. So that's two weeks off that 90 days. That's 14 days away. Uh, one is already uh, there, but we need to need, need to announce it. And he said, think big, think Times Square big. That's the type of uh, things that we want to be looking at right now. He also said within a few years, we are planning to have our very own merchant and banking system that's all going to be completely AI driven. He spoke uh, at length, actually, about the uh, processes and how that's all going to interact. That's all being worked on at the moment. A lot of it is done already. There is just the final stages of the processes that we are using at the moment. I got the impression myself personally that that is the only part of on passive at the moment that is being farmed out to a third party. Everything else, so the web hosting, designs, our products, everything is all in house except for that one area. And he actually made mention to when we have 
that uh, our, our own banking system, then that is everything that we have internally for on passive. You also mentioned a little bit about are we going to uh, use our ho hostings and all the rest of it for other people to purchase. And he said that's not a decision that has been made as yet. He said, uh, talked a little bit about own mail, how it's going to be completely free uh, to start with, along with own network, going to be completely free and a lot of other products as well. It will have, own mail will have audio and video capabilities within it. How cool is that? Being able to have those parts within your emails. He says it's clean, it's sexy, but above all, it is free. Just those two products, can you imagine how you will be able to leverage on passive as far as those two products alone? You know, you could send out multiple emails to people to say that I'm using this now. It's completely free and I love it. Want to know more? Click here. Guess what's going to happen? People are going to click on it. They're going to put their information. They're going to put their email. Bam. They are part of your organization. Absolutely amazing. That's just with O-Mail. Can you imagine exactly the same with O-Network that has all of the capabilities that uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and uh, Pinterest, and all, um, what's the other one? Instagram. They all are very similar in uh, stature, but with O networks, you'll be able to have them all on there. And he gave the example of a YouTuber that had a million people uh, following it. Well, now I know this firsthand. If you are doing anything with YouTube, you have to be consistent. You have to be there every single day, you know, doing things on your channel. If you don't, then those viewer figures go right down. With O network, one video that you put on there, it's exactly the same video as they're viewing right now. They will go to a network to view it, but they would have to put their information in. And that is how cool O Network is. Can you imagine a million followers, 250,000 say, go and watch that video. How many people out of that 250,000 will then go on to buy a product and service within the first year? Ash estimated that half would within that first year. That is absolutely unbelievable figures. And that is by giving something to somebody for free that is given to us as founders. That is how massive this business is going to be in the future for us as founders. This is why I said right at the beginning, buckle up, guys, because this is huge. It is all massive. You also went on to say that the capability to link multiple counts in your wallet, okay, with one single click as well to make it a lot, lot easier. Now, that was music to my ears. Now, I know that many of you on here right now have multiple accounts. How cool is it going to be to be able to integrate those into one wallet by one click, okay? It's going to make our lives a huge lot easier in the future by being able to merge all those into one wallet. Very, very good. He did show a lot of, um, uh, these were only, uh, not mock-ups isn't the right word. They were only sketches. Uh, it was the second time he showed sketches of what they are playing around with, of the look and feel of the wallet and uh, the desktop, etc. in the back office. It was really, really cool. It's Visually, very easy to the eye. It has everything in front of you. But above all, it is so easy to use. And that was the fun part of it for me was you can see it all there, just clicking. That's all it is. No lots of typing or anything like that. Just clicking links. Absolutely amazing. He said finally, they are finalizing ways at the moment uh, of inbound bound and out bound monies. One very, very cool security protocol that he has put in place. He said that the money that coming in and the money that goes out, these are completely separate. Now, a lot of um, businesses online, the in and out is the same money, okay, so to speak. Same accounts, same money. With uh, on passive, the inbound, it comes in, but it goes out 
a separate way. That means that hackers can't access all of it. They might be, you know, it is completely separate identities. And this means so much more security for us. Uh, it's another multiple layer of that security. It really, really is important because I can assure you guys out there right now, there is going to be a substantial amount of money involved for us as founders. They are constantly developing a multi-financial solution to handle the future influx. And until we have our very own merchant uh, capability, we are complete and we are completely independent. We are reliant on these third parties. And it is a stringent testing process to make sure that these merchants can stand up to the amount of volume that is going to be coming their way. If they don't step up to the mark, if they don't make the very stringent testing process, then what happens? We look for another one or we make them upgrade. I mean, if I was a business and I was rubbing shoulders uh, with on passive, I would do everything in my power to make sure that I gave them what they wanted because even a 0.0000% of every transaction is going to amount to a huge amount of money for them. He went on to finish then a couple of points. Uh, on passive, will give you the best value of your life. Why? Because we give value in every step of the way and everything that we do with on passive. We are value driven. We are not money driven. And this is so refreshing to see a company that put value before profits. It is going to come hand in hand, guys. But how many times do we hear the same things of shareholders, dividends, all of these things? And this is the only reason that companies make these excessively and insane amounts of money is for these shareholders. With on passive, that's not the case. We are about giving value to people. We are about looking after the foundership. And that is exactly what's happened. Randy Leonard, hello to the Tea Club. The last bit of news he had as well is they are in the developing the very first artificial intelligent menu bar. Now, we all know how menu bars are. They're either down the side, underneath, at the top, wherever they may be. And we have got so used over the last 20 30 years of the look and the feel of how these menu bars work. We haven't got any more details, but it is going to be a completely artificial, intelligent, fluid menu bar that is run by artificial intelligence. How it's going to work, I haven't got a clue. And I'm sure we will get details on this in the future. If you remember, he did a bit of a competition with his staff to come up with different ways. And I'm sure that is all part of the process for this menu bar. We will be the sole owners of this artificial intelligence menu bar. Nobody else will have it and nobody else will have it because it is going to be exclusive to on passive and nobody else. Anyway, guys, that's it from me for my update today. Thank you so much for everyone for joining me and everyone that has been on here. I hope it has helped you to recap the webinar of yesterday with Ash Mafara and to maybe put it in a different perspective of what I thought about it and how I perceived it to be. But I know one thing, guys, we are another step down that line. Another day has gone towards the goal of launching on Passive. Very, very exciting. Lots and lots of nuggets in there. Get yourself over to your back office. Have a read of the updates. Have a listen to the recording just to refresh everything that went on there. Super good. I cannot wait for more updates from our CEO. Anyway, that's it from me. I, I believe that Marty's doing his uh, at the top of the hour and then Chris after that. Uh, and I will see everybody. Uh, later on. Uh, I'm having Sunday off as far as lives is concerned, but I will see you all tomorrow at the normal time on my live. That's it from me. Bye for now.